Hello guys, this is Robbie. And this is Mod. Good morning. Good morning again from Fort Santiago. Today we'll explore this beautiful area here. And look at this, the weather is so great. Almost no clouds. 36 degrees, so extremely hot. But uh, yeah, good luck to me. But I'm so excited still to explore this area. So let's go guys. So Intramuros is the Latin name of this area here in Manila. It actually means within the walls because yeah, <laughs> it's uh, literally surrounded by walls. Intramuros was built on the south bank of the Pasig River around 1571 and uh, it dates back from the period when the Spanish were ruling over uh, Manila. So here we have the main gate, I think, from Fort Santiago. Look at this, beautiful, right? Amazing place. So let's explore this awesome fortress. So Fort Santiago was built in 1590, but during the Second World War, it faced a lot of damage and destruction. So they rebuilt this uh, current fortress and this beautiful place with little gardens, trees, yeah, you name it, beautiful piazzas, fountains, you name it, even a lily pond they have here somewhere. So they really did an amazing job rebuilding this place after the war. Look at this beautiful fountain, the pigeons having some refreshing shower over there. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, just after the main gate over there, we have the beautiful central plaza. So let's check that one out. Enjoy making some pictures, Matt. Yes. <laughs> While I'm taking pictures, I'm thirsty. Yeah, it's so hot today. It's really hot. If I remove my hat, you can literally see it's like a shower under there. Whew. Yeah, we'll drink a little bit too. Ah. It's not beer, but it's water. Or maybe it's vodka, I don't know. What you put in there, Mats? Yeah. Water. water. Yeah, water. Look how focused Mats is when making photos. <laughs> Beautiful place here with the lily pond. And then over here we have this beautiful main gate. Look at this. Beautifully carved in into the wall. Amazing. And then when entering the main gate, you come out of the beautiful Plaza de Armas, the main square here in Fort Santiago. Look at this. Beautiful, right? With over there, the statue of Jose Rizal, the national hero who was uh, imprisoned here inside the fortress before his execution in uh, Rizal Park. We saw a couple of days ago. Yeah, beautiful right really an amazing place to enjoy a walk even though it's 36 degrees and very very hot but uh, it's a really pleasant place to come not a lot of people very quiet and over here guys we have the shrine of Jose Rizal who was actually one of the leaders of the Philippine Revolution. He uh, was executed back in 1869. 
and uh, inside here they have some items belonging to Jose Rizal so let's check that one out over there we just entered on the ground floor went up there and now exit through here where we actually walking on the walls so did you like your visit to the Rizal shrine yeah, Matt? Yeah, yeah very informative and Rizal is very intelligent what did we see there in the museum Most, uh, his work from the coat the hat and the pen and yeah. the prison and the judicial process how uh, Rizal assassinated and we see the vertebrate of Rizal yeah where he was shot with the bullet yeah yeah we saw a lot of uh, things there and now we're walking here on the walls of Fort Santiago oh we have a cannon over there and uh, one of Matt's favorite swings <laughs> Ugoy, Ugoy In Philippines they call it Ugoy o Duyan Ah, okay oh, yeah. uh, I will not repeat it because yeah. I will make a fool of myself It's an Ugoy Swing, Matt Oi, I'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Okay, let's go then <laughs> Let's go, let's go guys and check this area a little bit more we got somebody removing the trash in the lily pond that uh, man is doing a great job over there don't throw your garbage away like this guys it's such a beautiful place why you just throw it away in the water it's such a shame I hear another view on the main gate This is a former uh, president in the Philippines before, but there, during the time he's a senator, El Pijo Quirino was in prison in this building. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Most of it are ruins, actually. Not so much to see anymore here. Except some wow, ruins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, little birdie. Not much to see here, guys. We are now at the highest point of Fort Santiago. And uh, we have a wonderful view here on the Pasig River. Look at this. Nice, right? Well, did you know that actually it's one of the most polluted rivers in the entire world? Until a few years ago, there was no life possible in this river. There was garbage everywhere in this river. Some parts of the river were even used as garbage dumps. But fortunately, a few years back, they start to clean the river again and make it livable again. So the quality of the water has improved a lot. There is some, yeah, improvement possible, but they did an amazing job here this far, making this river clean again. You can see the guy over there picking up all the garbage from the side of the river. To be honest, I would not swim there. <laughs> But still, it's a very brave guy. I already got one illness this trip. I don't want to have a second one. So this river is actually 27 kilometer long. 
And yeah, you can see there's still a lot of garbage at the side. But uh, if you look for some photos from a few years ago from the Pasig River, you will see that uh, you could not even see at some parts that it actually was a river because it was just like a, a garbage dump. But uh, they improved it a lot. Before, this river was really smelly, right? Yeah, it's smelly. Yeah, but not now. It's nice to see that there is life again in this, uh, in this river. <laughs> She's posing. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming you. So now we arrived here at this White Cross Memorial, a very sad place. Yeah, at the end of the Second World War, 600 Filipino bodies were found here. They're still buried here, by the way. And uh, they were found over there in one of the dungeons you can actually visit. So if we go across this path here, we will see here the entrance to those dungeons. We can actually go inside, so we will go there up next. But uh, yeah, such a sad place. 600 Filipinos are stuck there by the Japanese, probably suffocated to death. Whew. War. Yeah, always brings misery with it. So guys, before we will enter these dungeons, I will have to share something with you guys. So a lot of locals actually believe this is one of the most haunted places in Manila. That there's still a lot of ghosts wandering around here in those dungeons. Yeah. Not for the faint-hearted, I guess. Are you afraid of ghosts, Mats? I'm not afraid. Yeah, because they say that it's actually one of the most haunted places in Manila, inside those dungeons. What? Yeah, inside the dungeons, okay. because they, a lot of people die there. And uh, yeah, and sometimes they say people uh, feel like they've been touched or like they hear things that and nobody's there, so... It can be quite scary. So I warn you, Mats. <laughs> you want to come with me? Yes. Okay, let's then. Fight yeah, <laughs> then let's go. Okay. So actually, you see here a picture of how they found the bodies, hundreds of them, crammed together in a very bad state. Yeah. So this is the entrance here, it's uh, really tiny, so wish me luck guys. Oh my god, this is tiny. Okay, we made it. We're inside the dungeons now. Really disturbing. So sad. Can you imagine being stuck here with hundreds of, yeah, other prisoners? It's uh, actually reinforced here. because of course during the second world war this place got shelled a lot here we also have some statues in the dungeons depicting the filipino and american prisoners of war during the japanese occupation in manila so sad, you know. Surreal to walk here, actually.
You okay, Mats? I'm okay. <laughs> okay, then stay close to me. So these dungeons here were actually used as a facility to torture and imprison high value prisoners. So here, like you can see, some guy hanging with chains, being tortured. And then finally, when the Japanese decided to leave this facility, they actually sealed off every exit, every hole in the wall, and they just left them to suffocate. You know, it's so sad. To be honest, uh, I really have a weird feeling in this place, I cannot describe it. But uh, yeah, a lot of bad things happened here, of course. Here are the American troops walking into Intramuros. Yeah, so sad. Let's go to the next part. more rooms so here like in this picture you can actually see that the bodies were foregone most of the bodies were not recognizable anymore because the maggots were eating on them and uh, some of the prisoners eventually got identified due to like they were wearing a belt or some type of clothing because otherwise you could not even see who that person was anymore because of the conditions they were found in so sad here we have like a guard is it a guard or what was also a prisoner for I think we should leave this place, Matt. <laughs> it's this way. Well, I'm happy I'm back outside. It was such a sad place. Yeah. <laughs> Were you scared? Yeah. Yeah. And here from above, actually, are also passageways to the dungeons, the ones that were sealed off. We could not visit anymore, but just imagine being here in those dungeons, trapped with. Uh, hundreds of people and then just being left suffocate to death and then when uh, the war is finally over they found your body but they don't even know it was you because your body has been so far gone they might not be able to identify you ah, terrible place I think we should go back to a happier place, <laughs> the beautiful plaza over there. Let's go there. You know what I would love now? Some buku juice. Yeah, yeah. Cold buku juice. Cold buku juice. While you are drinking coconut juice, you swing like this. You want to swing like this? Would you want to? Try? <laughs> would you want to try? I don't think this can hold my weight. <laughs> so I will not try it, guys. I will not try it. Not gonna ruin this beautiful spot for us little Filipino girls. Yeah. <laughs> or actually, it's Filipina girls. Filipina. Magandang dina. Yeah. <laughs> She's so crazy, just like me. Another viewpoint here on the Pasig River. Heat is actually kicking in. 
I'm gonna sit down for a while and enjoy this lovely view over the river. Ah, ooh. So after my little chill here next to the Pasig River, I uh, took a closer look to the walls here. They're actually surrounding the fortress and the entire city of Intramuros. Back in the day, it was the Spanish capital. If you were Filipino back then, you were not even allowed to enter Intramuros. But yeah, if you look at the walls, it was not easy to enter anyway. Six meter high. Most of the walls are actually a reconstruction because a lot of them got destroyed during the Second World War. But uh, some parts are still original and uh, stood the test of time, you know. Some even have bullet holes in it from the Second World War still. Uh, you have to say the Spanish, they know how to build a wall. Oh, I think we come here at the dead end. I think we need to return. But uh, look at those walls. Really impressive, right? Not easy to enter, for sure. I think maybe this is an original part of the wall. You can see some bullet holes in it. Yeah, this port is actually one of the best ports I've been to in Manila. A really nice uh, port with the fort. Yeah, the gardens inside. Really beautiful. A must-go place when you come to Manila. So here we have him, Jose Rizal, in his cell, waiting for his execution. Even here, sometimes people say that uh, when they walk along the route, sometimes people can feel his presence. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, yeah. So it was here at this place that uh, Jose Rizal was locked up. Beautiful palace. And over there was his cell. We just saw it from the other side earlier. I just wonder where the footprints are because they said there will be footprints here showing his final walk towards his execution, but it seems there are none. <laughs> At least I cannot see them. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Looking pretty as always. So, am I blind? Because I cannot see footprints on the floor. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they, they renovated. Mm, yeah, maybe. So, no footprints. But I know they should be going along something like this. All the way through the gate there. So guys, I think this was it for our vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye bye from Robbie. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you heard her. Bye bye. Take care. Cheers.